and raining out freaking parking lot puddle galore <laughs> oh decently late in the day so i'm trying to cram for not cram i mean the exam's tuesday it's sunday right now which also makes it day 30 i believe but i'm trying to study for this heat transfer exam and I want to get back in time so I can wake up early around 3 a.m. tomorrow morning and get in a full couple hours of studying before I have to go off to classes because I do not get anything done in the later section of the day which is why I like being a morning person. Right now I'm currently trying to navigate this parking lot and at least keep enough speed so that I don't get stuck in the mud. Oh. Okay, so I just came from another BJJ practice and I took a shower at the gym which I think makes it feel slightly worse once you get in the water because I mean like 20 minutes ago I was in a nice hot shower so the contrast between the two I think contributes to how bad or how much you aren't looking forward to the initial response or it could just all be in my head and that's not really a thing but I'm going to share my hypothesis with you guys so yesterday when I was driving this right here my phone came flying off <laughs> the top of my car I left my phone on top of my car and rewatching the GoPro video this is the moment I realized I messed up yeah, so just found my phone on the road. Ooh, not even too cracked. Let's go. Gotta love Apple's Find My. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It still works. And that is why I always use a screen protector on my phone. Fell off my car going 50 miles an hour. Barely scratched up. Camera's fine. Case is gonna need a new one. Phone's fine. <laughs> and that spot right there is literally where I came down and picked it up. I had to use the find my phone on my iPad and then drove out here in my Snuggie. Oh, I was so happy that my phone isn't broken. The screen protector was just a little banged up and I replaced it this morning. But I buy my screen protectors in bulk. I mean like three, three packs, five packs off Amazon for like three-ish dollars a piece so it really doesn't bother me when I toss one out I used to go to the mall and I mean they charge you freaking like 30 50 dollars to <laughs> put a screen protector on your phone which is insane considering how easy it is you just wipe it down with some screen wipes and then take some like shipping tape, scotch tape or something, run it over the phone a couple times, make sure that you get all the little lint off it, and then just drop the phone case right down on it. You have to make sure the alignment's good, but it's not that difficult. <sighs> so one thing I am noticing right now is 
sometimes I get the sensation of like the cold blood moving back into my body and from my arms and mixing and cooling me down but I didn't get that today or at least I don't think I got it today which I find interesting and wonder if that might have something to do with why the water felt a little bit colder was that the capillaries well, I'm not sure if that's the right one but if the blood vessels in my arms and stuff didn't shrink and slow down the flow of blood so that the blood was circulating through my arms the whole time cooling my core down faster I'm not sure if that's actually what's happening but oh, I mean heck this is like one of the fastest warm ups I've had considering that was four minutes in the water I mean it's also raining out but I don't think that I mean I'm I'm placing the water temperature at 48-ish degrees and the air temp is 49 right now and the rain is falling from the clouds which is going to be colder than that so the rain is probably I mean like 47-ish and the water is coming from the bottom of the dam and it's been pretty cold the past day to two days so I'm betting, I'm betting the water's 46 to 48. Definitely not above 50. You know, it's... Still have a month left of school. And honestly, I... <laughs> I'm not as bummed about it. Which is the whole reason behind why I started taking these ice baths was... I was super down and just not liking being stuck at school for another two months and the past month has really flown by and at least the past two weeks I've really noticed I mean the first two weeks I did ice baths my mood improved a lot and then ever since then for the past two weeks I've been like really good and just enjoying where I'm at and being less stressful so yeah back at the apartment gonna go probably get some food in me get some soup warm me up a little bit and then wrap myself in some blankets and snuggle my cat. So, day 30, signing out.